As part of National Coastal Awareness Month in the Bahamas, hundreds of volunteers from the public and private sector teamed up for a large-scale cleanup of Nassau Harbor. Hosted jointly by the National Coastal Awareness Committee and the Ministry of the Environment, several tons of garbage, marine debris, derelict boats, cars, and more were removed from both land and sea along the Malcolm Park section of the harbor. Heavy equipment operators donated their time and machines to move large vessels, lift heavy debris, containers of trash, and to destroy and remove condemned boats. More than 100 volunteers of all ages picked up litter along the harbor front. The trash was sorted by type and recorded on data cards through Dolphin Encounters Project Beach to keep track of what was found. Divers took to the harbor floor to collect debris and bring it to the surface, while a team of specialists, headed by Stuart Cove of Stuart Cove's Dive Bahamas, brought an abandoned and sunken ship, the Goldenrod, to the surface to make her final journey. Towed by the Port Authority's tugboat, the Goldenrod made her way out to sea, where she was sunk to a depth of 800 feet to create a long-line fishing area for local fishermen. The National Coastal Awareness Committee, along with the Ministry of the Environment, would like to thank each and every volunteer for their time and assistance during this large-scale harbor cleanup. Protecting and preserving our marine environment is up to each and every one of us, and as our motto says, if not us, who? If not now, when?